Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome in, welcome all. I hope you guys have had a great day, a great midweek madness, because it's about to get a little bit more exciting or relaxing. Probably a weird mix of both. I'm going to say hello, 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 and thank you to everyone stopping by so early as we are just getting started here, as today we're going to be playing some forts. And as per usual, as per the way we start things around here, the lobby is open first come first serve we're gonna be jumping in with some community games so come and join the fun as we say hello to everyone in chat hello there chicken tendo gabriel galactic dragon theta heman hemanth matthias engineer golden gauge agenda takashi machine there Welcome in. Welcome there, Yaoku. How are you guys doing? I want to say thank you for everyone who's stopping by, the, who's coming from the Discord notifications. We want to say the best way to keep up with all notifications and content on the channel is to join in the Discord. Link in the description below. And while we're here, make sure to start it off by hitting that like button, hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. As we'll be jumping into the first match here momentarily, this lobby has just filled. Because, uh, well, lobbies fill very, very quickly around these parts. And we can jump right into the action. <laughs> so how are you guys doing tonight? I'm about to go half a throw around. You don't want to take a spot at, you know? Whatever works for you, that machine there. Hello there, Tyler. And dust sands? Oh no. You can't dust sands. <laughs> So I'm looking to do some, I'm feeling like doing some uh, flying forts today. Like the, uh, to get some good old fashioned airships, maybe some strike craft combat. Uh, but as we get started, just to keep things simple, we'll be doing the first round or two as vanilla forts, just to get a little bit of warm up. We'll see how things go from, from then on, but uh, for now, keep it simple, keep it smooth. As we uh, carry on, <laughs> can you fly the for forts around and flying forts like planes? More like airships, yes. Uh, it's a fort, not a not a jet fighter. It doesn't move very quickly, but yes. Woke up late for school. We got some much needed sleep. Well, you know, is that a university? I presume. University can kind of make up for it as long as you're paying attention and actually learning. It sounds awesome. It is awesome. I like being able to uh, fly my forts. High mobility fortress. High school. Okay, okay. That's a little bit less, uh, a little bit less exciting. But do you like frogs? Are they slimy? Those are not mutually exclusive. There's sun and sun and sea. <laughs> yeah, little just kind of screwed. Yeah, pretty much. Um, that doesn't sound, you know, ideal, but I guess it, it happens to everyone at some point. I actually have a funny, uh, frog related story. I got a, I got a couple of frog related stories because my area has infested with variants amphibian. So I've got lots of frogs around, among other among other creatures. Um, one time I was removing hurricane shutters off the windows because we had survived the hurricane. We didn't need them up anymore. And uh, a frog had decided to rest inside the, uh, the shutter because, I don't know, it was nice and cool in there. And when I say the frog, I mean it was a tree frog, one of those green, super slimy ones. Like, the entire thing was made out of slime. And I was like, oh, cool looking frog creature. Uh, let's get you out of there. And as I started moving... Well, hello there, Travis. If you take out the foundations, any fort flies for a moment or two. I don't know why TTS isn't working for that. I feel like something something has gone awry. I gotta check on that. Because TTS should be working for you there. Uh, but yes, you're not wrong. It's called falling with style. 
Oh, Lord. Yes, so I had a, a tree frog staring at me. And it didn't like the idea of having its perch, you know, moved. So the moment it started moving, the tree frog started looking around real quick to see where it, see what it could do. And it, you know, decided to move anywhere else. Guess where was the closest tall object? That's right, it was my face. My face was the closest tall object. So it decided to jump, leaping clean through the air, and land directly on my face. Um, now, I have nothing against frogs. I'm just not... I just wasn't particularly happy about having something that's so... Um, incredibly slimy landing all over my face. So that was that was an experience, um, one I wasn't particularly happy about, but I didn't like panic or anything. I just like, oh god, no, there's a slime monster on my face. So that was that was an experience, one that I hope to not go through again. But uh, I just had to be very careful. I didn't I didn't react negatively and like crush the creature or anything. It just was unhappy for the few seconds it took for me to gently and gingerly grab the creature and remove it. <laughs> it was most certainly an experience. Frog friend, yes, he was really very interested in my face. Or just, you know, generally not being um, on the shutter. Being ha handled. Man, that was a proper cannon o'clock, cannon o'clock uh, impact here. Got it. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Right. So that was that. That was one frog story. Um, other frog stories generally include less frog than toad because there's uh, similarly a lot of toads around here around these parts but I say toads like the big old bullfrog ones that are that are you know they weigh m upwards of multiple pounds which is both hilarious and terrifying They're like giant moving boulders they just jump around Ready to see you doing forts? Yes, I do enjoy forts. Forts is such a great time. Makes me happy. Hmm. I need to be... Focusing my aim here. Slightly lower with those shots, it would seem. Uh. <laughs> Frog pog. What is it? My uh, little brother came over a little while ago, and he he's an enjoyer of frog. And um, he was very happy when we went outside during the uh, night hours, and there was just multiple giant frogs just all over the place. He's like, oh my god, there's so many of them. I was like, yes, 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 there is. Uh, this looks... Yeah, he's got that covered. Okay. <laughs> it's just these giant hopping toads. I think they're called rock toads is what they are. They are massive is what they are. And these suckers are huge. They look so fat, I'm surprised they can move at all. But they do, they do be hopping. 
<laughs> would prefer to see two hell divers. Have you seen the mess that is StarCraft 2 Arcade right now? Alright, we penned, took out uh, mines, among other things. Alright, got it. Player eliminated. Alright, so uh, this player is the only one that can really assist me in removing hostility. Uh, so I've got to keep that in mind. And assist them in removing hostility. There we go. Hey, got him. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome there, Magma. Oh, well, it's not going to help me. Yeah, I seem to have I seem to have made some friends. All right. Uh, what else can I do here? Oh, so close, but not quite. Hello. That was my upgrade center. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> well, hello there. You know the round when enough bullets are flying to turn the game into a fight zone. Hey, yes, that's a man who understands. Ah, and we get some love and chant for dementia coming in with the joyful laughter. You love to see it. At least I certainly do. I like spreading such laughter and fun. This man keeps slapping me with a cannon. Fire, which means I need to do this. Kaboom. Love to see it. Alright, so top base is pretty much carrying the team. <laughs> dementia is driving you crazy. Oh no. Uh, Everyone loves a bit of dementia. Oh no. New Fort's graphics? Uh, no. Uh, however, we are you running a graphical, a graphical uh, update mod uh, created by Samster Birdies, one of the community members here. Let's see if I can slap this guy a little bit. A little. The answer to that is no. No, I cannot. For no other reason, then I can't aim. What's going on here? Not much. Uh, let's see. If I aim this... Here, I think I'll be better off. Nope. It's an energy shield. That's nothing. And this, also energy shield. All right, so let's get one of you here. Um, let's put a pair of turbines there. That's a good shot. Not a good shot. And this, a very good shot. 
da da. I think bottom one AFK. No, uh, not AFK. Just suffering extreme um, income issues. So what I did here is I took out all of their mines and then left them to suffer. So they they couldn't shoot me or do anything about it even if they wanted to, because they don't have any income like at all, like not even a little bit. Um, so while they will eventually fix that problem, uh, that's a problem that will take them time to fix. Oh well, that misaimed. And as you notice, they have refired at me, but it has been, you know, multiple minutes, which is why I didn't bother dealing with them. hitting that spot over and over but it isn't enough eventually the cannon should break through something uh, that was close So this one needs to be aimed like pixels lower, if possible. I think not low enough. So close to breaking them, breaking through. Like, if we could hit just that first mine, that would help immensely in terms of target removal. There we go. Alright, that's that's effectively lethal damage. Because now he has to spend an incredible amount of resources to get over there. And when he does get over there, he's got a fraction of the income for it. Now it's just a matter of firing until they don't exist anymore. Which is the specialty of Flynn Shadow up here. With their cannons. Alright, in that case I'm going to take this opportunity to change targets a little bit. That one needs to be a different target. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, uh, now we get this going and start working on next thing. Which I probably should have started a while ago, to be honest. Uh, those are likely to be missiles at some point. Have to keep that in mind. Um, there we go. What else can I do here? <laughs> Man's got energy shields from below, and I don't blame him for a second. Alright, those are gone. I see. Now that could have been incredibly lethal. That would have been several flavors of lethal, like the best flavor of lethal if you didn't have those energy shields from below. I'm all for it. I didn't even consider that.
All right. Yep, that's looked good like a healthy chunk of damage. All right, uh, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this, 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 and cannons take him out. Well done, team. <laughs> Someone knows the call is coming from inside the team. <laughs> yes, hello there, uh, and no, no cog X. Welcome, welcome. Seeing a surprising lack of auto cannons given the title, we'll get back to it. Uh, just starting it off with a nice casual vanilla simplicity. Uh, easy dub 4v2 now. Uh, it's uh, We lost a teammate pretty early on in that. Alright, so we'll do one high seas. Really read a two before? Uh, I haven't actually. I did a. Uh, several of the Command & Conquer games, but all of them in the Tiberium Sun series. All of them in the, in the uh, Tiberium Wars. Uh, in the Tiberium series. Uh, never never actually played the Red Alert versions. Uh. <clears throat> Don't you take the kill shots? I was taking the kill shots. Which is why the opponents exploded. You seen the flying bugs and hell divers? I haven't. I have seen birds though, which was cool. Uh, I think flying bugs are some kind of bug-based propaganda, and you shouldn't think too much about it. It's not Ministry of Truth approved. <clears throat> no hell divers on uh, Xbox yet. Yeah, I doubt that's going to be happening in the near future. Yeah, Sony exclusive is kind of strong. Exclusive TM because it's just ex it's just ex it's not exclusive. It's just excluding Xbox. They call the Shriekers. Now that sounds like that. Def that's definitely bug propaganda there. Definitely bug propaganda. Morning. Well, hello there. Nuclear launch coming in from Auntie Blake. Hawk Wolf. Why are you like this? <laughs> How you doing today? Uh, you see, TTS works for you. Works for you just fine. Oh, jeez. How you doing today, Hawk Wolf? Can we get to love a chat for Hawk Wolf coming in with the nuclear launch? I guess all that sweet, delicious radioactivity. A bit sick. Oh, boy. Everyone knows PC is best, so you don't mind. Dude, I've been having so much fun with Helldivers. I actually had my first negative experience in Helldivers, or rise at least encountering a negative individual. I was like, wait, what? I was uh, solo queuing into Helldiver, and I joined, not mid-match, but I mean, it was I, I joined early on in the match, but I wasn't there at start. And there was two guys, and then a third guy joined, or a fourth guy joined after me. And it was really bad. Like, the entire situation was... Was... It was going sideways. People were dying everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean exactly in one place because they refused to move. So I went around and completed literally all of the objectives. Uh, and all the secondary objectives. And all the tertiary objectives. And grabbed most of the samples while the team struggled to make it around a corner uh, just fighting at the same place and inevitably they ran out of lives because that's just what happens when you're fighting in one place and not getting anything done um, 
So nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there. What made things uh, go sideways was when I was getting ready to evac, I pulled down, I just started reinforcing people because, you know, I could, as I was the last one alive. And uh, one of the dudes helps me open a bunker, and then as I'm standing in the bunker, he pulls out a grenade and just frags me. And then starts yelling in chat, saying how I how I make how I'm screwing the team, and making everything harder, and trying to grief everyone. And I'm sitting here like, I genuinely don't understand what you're talking about, and I don't know why you've just team killed me. But then he just offs himself, and we lose everything. Like all the samples gone. I had like 50 samples, and then he leaves. And so it was like, uh, what? Went from everything is, you know, more or less okay to getting fragged and, well, okay is a strong word, but getting fragged and everyone losing all the samples and technically victory on the mission, but it was... It was painful. And everyone else was not happy about the situation, but... I mean, what could they do? Host didn't even have an opportunity to kick the guy. Because he left immediately. It was rather confusing to watch. In all honesty. That is the first negative experience I've had in Helldivers. At least regarding uh, teammates. Was, I'm going to describe it as not fun. Oh, I didn't get it in time. I'm sorry, teammate. He's going to get bullied by the laser. Oh my god, he lives. Please survive. I greatly appreciate that. So that character in particular is not going to be incredibly active. Hmm. Let's see if we can pen this here before he gets it fully operational. Man's got a lot of doors on that. Man's got a lot of doors on that. Door after door after door. That's bad. He's going to die. Should have seen that come in. Yeah, probably. All right. All right, so I've taken a beating here. Um, how long I live is going to depend on a fair few things. 
but we desperately need a little bit more f there we go all right so that's that's gonna help immensely shotgun oh boy that's what I'm looking for unfortunately for him that does laser his base this is why we build the return to sender Left your GF stream to watch this. <laughs> Amaranth is not your GF. Ooh, chat with the fire. <laughs> that return to sender. Yes. The uh, beautiful returns on that one. Good God. Ah. <sighs> Alrighty, let's see what else we got going here. Team coming in clutch with the damage output, just sniping out targets. You love to see it. Most valuable return to sender. It's it's up there. It's certainly up there. Hey there, cardboard time. Well, welcome in. I'm glad you enjoy. Always happy to see. Always happy to see people coming by to enjoy things. You know. One of, one of the joy, one of the nice things about uh, content creation around, you know, Twitch, YouTube, such. It's not parasitic with each other. It's not like somebody else getting views is gonna hurt hurt you or something. So as long as you're not, you know, doing advertising or whatnot, being disrespectful about it, then it's. It's nice to get a little extra, little extra friends around. Well, that was some uh, deep penetration of that round. And just go straight to the front door, yeah. Yeah, they're letting it burn. Which may actually take a while. Okay, no, they, it will burn. And there it goes. <sighs> hey, little Loroth. Return laser was amazing. It was a good one. It was a very good return laser. You took the first two big hits so the good players could take your business. Oh, ironically, that is, that is oftentimes how it goes. Which is fine. Beautiful. Alright, so one more round of vanilla type maps, and then we'll jump into some modded madness, yeah? I'm so glad you're here to see that. Hey, welcome to the live streams. What is it? I've been uh, browsing the Helldivers category. The amount of. I guess it's just strange to me to see so many V... I'm still not accustomed to seeing that quantity of VTubers in a category. Usually it's, you know, mixed and matched a lot. But I guess something about Helldivers and... It's the same thing in the Warhammer community as well, like Dark Tide, Roman Tide. The amount of, the amount of VTubers is crazy high. 
At least what I would think is crazy high. It's just a surprise to me, that type of personality is so interested in it. What tea we drink it today? Uh, I just finished my tea, actually. I had tea for lunch. Uh, so now, I'm, now I've moved on to juice. Good tasty juice. Helldivers has been particularly popular with the VTubers. Yeah, 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 it has been. There's nothing wrong with that. I was just... It's just an interesting... It's just an interesting... Um, little factoid. Little feature, I guess. <clears throat> you ate a Zawaje themed pizza today. It's Polish soup, so you may know it. Um, in terms of Polish foods, I tend to recognize them by their flavors and what's in it rather than their names, because it was never really taught their proper names. It's just the food that we eat. Like, I know borscht, for example, um, pierogi. Most of the other names I've just, I'm not familiar with. Um, Golonki, I think, is another big one. The, uh, the stuffed cabbage. But yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> in Hell Divers 2, you discover the Pelican Gun can actually be destroyed. That the Eagle Cluster Bomb has a decent chance of killing bot fabricators. It has a decent chance. Of I have never seen the cluster kill bot fabricators. At all. Like, not even a little bit. Not even once. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying I've never seen it. I Polish. Uh, my ancestors are Polish, and uh, as part of the uh, family, we uh, have a lot of Polish cuisine around because Polish grandparents that like to cook Polish cuisine. And so we get a whole lot of Polish foods around these parts, and I am all the way here for it. comes to Polish cuisine things makes me very happy. Uh, let's just rectify. There's, uh, we're trying out a new, we're looking for a new kielbasa place. Is the, uh, the place that we usually get it from is, uh, a little bit logistically inconvenient. Ancestors passed the rule of They did, they did. Uh, it highly motivated my, my, uh, ancestors to, uh, participate in the fighting, which they did, funny enough, on the, uh, Pacific side the Pacific Front after immigrating to the United States. And so like, oh no, war. Let's, let's not be in Poland. That's how that went. You promised autocannon destruction? No, oh, there was, there will most certainly be autocannon destruction. Once the, once the autocannons are released, that's about all they are capable of doing, for better and worse. 
Alright, I like big boats and I cannot lie. Still waiting that pierogi cooking stream. Ah, you guys remembered that, didn't you? Is he pronounced so much correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's something. Uh, don't ask me to spell the Polish words. That's not gonna happen. Also, I don't realistically expect to pronounce them, but I've heard a lot of them many times. So sometimes I can pronounce them. Just don't expect it to be a regular thing. It's, it's certainly not going to be a regular thing. <laughs> I occasionally have problems pronouncing English words. You are correct. 100% correct. Mouth sounds can be difficult. This is why we defend our things with stuff. That should be lethal. But all right. The same strategy our opponent did last round. I mean it's a very good strategy. Hmm. There appears. I'm sorry. Did someone's core get hit by flak and take damage? Is that is that what I heard? I think that's not what I heard. Attack at this point in time. For now. Alright. Do I get punished for this? Nope. Clean hit. Although, it's gonna wipe out some of those aircraft. What did I ever do to you? Don't answer that question. Uh, this should cut deep. It, I mean, technically did. Just also didn't do much. further back. Ooh. 
Ooh, that got scary. Hmm. Okay. Oh boy. That's a lot of damage. Man's dropping cannons all over. All over my base. No. Need more onions. Oh, that's a complete shutdown. You'll love to see it. Alright, so those portals are now active. Which gives me a good reason to do this. Great hit. That's gonna do some damage up here. Again. Man's got aircraft in there. Oof. Man's hiding planes. Oh, ho, ho, that's a lot of damage. All right, uh, what else can I do here? I can live with that. Um, it's not exactly where I wanted to hit, but I guess that'll do fine too, I guess. You know. This might actually be a, uh, an upgrade. An upgrade angle here. Oh, there's the crit. And there's... <laughs> there it is! Alright. I hope we're lizard do wonders. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, this might actually be an upgrade angle on the uh, space laser here. If I can get space laser upgraded. Be in a great position to, you know, cause rampant destruction. I've devastated that man's eco several times, and I'm not planning on stopping now. Bloop. You know, an upgraded laser here would also do wonders, but it's just not necessary. That's what one... 
to three kills. God. Very effective. Alrighty then, so that was three rounds in this lobby. So what we get to do is we get to remake the lobby. So if you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity. Because every three rounds we recreate the lobby. This gives everyone an opportunity to come and join because it's a fresh lobby. First come, first serve, all rounds are public. And while we're here, make sure to hit that follow button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button. And comment down below or throw your favorite emote in chat because, well, and so we know what kind of stuff you love around here. Did no such game existed. I'm glad you enjoy there, my show. You log in and basically see orbital kills. Good, good. The best kind. Air Force Cooper. Yes. Alrighty. Let's do it. Uh, so now we're going to add on a few mods. Uh, we're going to start with the auto cannon mod. Because, uh, did I auto, I, I control weapons, yeah you did. Alright. Effects. And, uh, let's throw on something vanilla-like, but not high seas. Eh, do you think vipers will do? Well, hello there. Formerly souls. <laughs> Zerwajka. White Easter Borscht with horseradish. You see, I'm a big fan of that one. Uh, the Borscht with horseradish makes me happy. You know, I, there was a time when I didn't like horseradish. Uh, it was a very, very long time ago. And then I started adding it into things. I was like, hmm. I didn't know I needed this in my life. But now I do. Let's do it. Hello there, cabs. Welcome in. How you doing today? Is a loving chat for Omega. Auto cannon mod, better cannon. Auto cannon mod is enabled. So go nuts, go ham, go blow up your enemies with delicious amounts of auto cannon. I forgot to enable the auto cannon. <clears throat> Let's do it. <sighs> Here to explain the Finnish Easter memo. Uh, I've never heard of such a thing, but now I now you have my curiosity. Alrighty. And channel's like the only one I enjoy. Well I'm glad you enjoy their I okay. Uh, spoiler alert, we've got more content coming out all the time. Thought the AI controlled weapons mod isn't fixed. It isn't perfect, but it is it does exist. And it is fun, and that's the only thing I need to know. You know, always have AI build your base. I suppose so. Um, that's less fun. Although I, I would like to do, <clears throat> I would like to do a tournament. Uh, where it's AI and human hybrid. Because that just sounds like a great time. Alright, we do 
this. Uh, looks like the opponents have no exposed targets, which means the snipers are waiting for their opportunity to, um, wait, waiting for their opportunity to, uh, get snipey. The moment they sense weakness, they will commit violence. Weakness detected. Violence afflicted. You mad lad. What have you done to my sniper? Alright, so this should be... safe. This thing keeps trying to snipe up. Uh oh. Uh, something broke with the miniguns, but it hasn't broken the entire game. So that's good. Uh, I can send you the the log later. It's mini guns doing it, yeah. On device created and on device completed. Surprised about on device created. Looks like we have a full. Did you? Looks like we've got some full uh, prints going on here. Are the miniguns still firing? Uh, no, it would seem they are not. At least not automatically. Many guns are bugged, let's build more of them. Why are you like this? Oh boy. Is this armadillo miniguns? Oh, armadillo miniguns. You know, that makes sense. Alright, uh, what else can I do? I need one of these, one of these. Um, could use a little... little, uh, anti-air here, couldn't we?
Oh boy. That's looking bad. Okay. This sniper is refusing to do anything because it doesn't have the ability to do anything, really. If I do this, does it start doing things? Uh, it dies, which is something, I suppose. Should be yes. just to cause problems. What else? Yeah, it's specifically the commander weapons, it seems, that's causing problems. Which doesn't surprise me that much. You know... I probably should just disable the, uh... Auto fire weapons. Well, hello there. But is it Robert coming in with the support? Sent the ICU for a peekaboo incident? What? This man corswung. And then leaves the game. Why are you like this? I'm guessing he had to uh, leave for one reason or another. Decided to go out in style. You must go, understandable. Yeah, he he said he uh, he said goodbye in chat. Oh, he did say GG. Okay, I missed that. Good luck out there, jamming. This is madness over here. All right. covering this thing as if it's going to uh, affect when AI misses. Uh, it didn't miss, it was just aiming for a different target. Uh, that seems suspiciously like a, uh, an AP sniper.
Wow, that thing is getting destroyed. Uh, my weapons are habitually failing to fire. They're opening the doors and then not firing. Which is a problem. Um, so I don't know how to solve that problem other than don't use the AI. Instead of my weapons are actually firing. Uh, looks like we've got a first desync, but they came right back in. Nope, it's cascading. Oh no! All right, so we're gonna we're gonna restart this. Yes, remove portal. A peekaboo incident. I can't tell if you're serious or not. Alright, so we'll do... How about... Wingman this time. Got one more slot. Disable snipers? No. Never. Might actually beat me and shoot base. I, I, yes, yes, I, yeah. I know. We've had this discussion many times before. It is an interesting discussion, though. Let's do it. Ah. This will do modded content. No. For its 2.0 win. I don't think the developers are are pushing toward a uh, Forts 2.0. I mean, realistically, Forts has done really well for them. Which is cool. I was trying to figure out what a Forts 2.0 would look like. And I definitely didn't get that sniper down first, so I'm going to suffer the consequences of that. don't have anything to snipe. Interesting. Just have to take that into consideration. Can't get rear turbines on this map, which is relevant. Do, 
before it's tiered out in 3D. <laughs> Can you imagine? It'd be crazy. Uh, I'm about to lose both snipers here. Yeah, he's got Tiny Door Sniper. Or Door to Sniper in general, it would seem. Um, just to give this a chance to actually complete. Okay. Better. Started getting sniped here, and then whatever was sniping it died, it would seem. Some matter lost interest. Yes, I'm leaving that a big door on purpose. Uh, so it has enough angle to fire at multiple things. At the cost of potential death. then uh, let's get involved for its VR that would be an interesting experience and something that I could probably get together to do as it would require a heap load of custom assets but a, a VR chat room that's forts themed is totally doable I think Sniping and continues. The sniping will continue until morale improves. TM has caused a problem. suspiciously like an AP sniper hit me. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to build this such that I can construct some of these guys up here. I don't know that I can. This one's not dying immediately. Almost certainly double door. Hmm.
me do this like so. That way I can do this. Put this guy here. That way those shots stop ricocheting into me. Alright, I'm going to need to do this, I think. Upkeep the energy production. And the additional mortars should allow us to push through the enemy base here. Because we're already landing hits. Activate commander ability. My snipers are living a little bit longer. The sniper took a hit but didn't die, which is interesting. Uh, we are breaking their snipers via igniting via ignition. Like, we're not actually breaking the sni counter-sniping, we're just hitting the... What? Did you get sniped? Is that what happened here? I think their AP sniper is hitting me. Let's do this. Okay, so, like, we're not actually winning the sniper war directly, we're just uh, winning the... Uh, igniting the snipers and they're burning to death. You just got sniped directly. Okay. Hello there, Peter. Welcome in. How you doing today? Come back and watch the board of this. we we'll say, hey, hey. Well, we've got some good fun today. We're doing some uh, modded madness. Uh, starting with the low APM challenge of uh, auto cannons. Because auto cannons are fun. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy that. Good luck out there, Peter. I'll see you around, yeah? Alright. Those snipers are incredibly effective anti-air is what they are. I mean, they hardly have any machine gunners or something that would be considered normal anti-air. But they are near sh completely shutting us down. Uh, but one of their players seems to be suffering incendiary issues. Substantial incendiary issues, and they're not quite able to put it out in time. Yep. That's unfortunate for them, because there's a whole heap load of mortars. Hey, yo. What a percentage of the fan base is queer. I can tell you from experience, uh, some substantial... Um, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty, um... Substantial. Let me rephrase. The vocal community, uh, the vocal element of the community, a huge amount of them vocally and uh, identify as non... What's the word I'm going to use? As a... Uh, I don't know if there's a good word for it. I don't know if there's a good word for it. Vocally identify as uh, some degree of non traditional is the word I'm going to go with. Solution more mortars. It is a great solution. I like the solution. It's a solution I intend to use. Incendiary comes. Oh, we got a hit on the sniper, which I don't think is enough to kill it, actually. 
Unless it doesn't get put out in time because they can't hear it because we are because they don't have an alarm because we are Firebird, which is a surprisingly effective commander choice in this context. Hello. They broke my mortar. Eco too strong. I see nothing wrong with this. I leave the tiniest of gaps and it gets insta sniped. No, that was just a AP sniper. Okay, we're getting AP sniped. So what's going on there? I had to put this back. Yeah, yeah. I go and clean through to my everything. Cannon here to play. So here's the thing, with one player down, that means they have that much less anti-air. So... We have that much more e effectiveness in total. Which is, you know, awesome for us. That tier 3 is a little scary, I will say that. As is, you know, anything cannon shaped. Uh, where else can I put more mortars? Um, I suppose I can put them out here. But to do that, I have to get this set up in a way that is inconvenient. So I can do this, but then I have to do this and... It's not going to work. So I have one here. We got some super custom stuff going around here. And I have the mortar there. Which goes to... Um, hmm. Maybe I can just do one more here. Like so. There we go. That should do. How did you get hit? It doesn't really matter now, does it? I am starting to run low on energy production, so we gotta get that upgraded. Whew. Only 15 mortars. Just keep firing! Our snipers are still doing great work, by the way. Like, they're still getting huge hits done. Uh, their tier 3s haven't... haven't been, uh... doing a whole lot of work. I am in pain. Everyone is in pain. Look at all the mortars. Oh, oh, weakness detected. Weakness detected. Yeah, I don't... I seem to be struggling with the energy upkeep here. Very much so struggling with the energy upkeep here. No. It's on fire. It might just burn to the grits and won't burn this time, but it's close to burning. It's very close to burning. Yep, there it goes. Alright, so that means that lacking the anti-air, they're about to have a dom domino level cascade. Because all of those mortars are about to be changing targets. Over to uh, commit mass suffering. Into the last remaining targets here. Someone built a tier 3 sniper. Oh no. 
Oh no, it's gonna get bad. That AI knows how to aim tier 3 snipers extremely, extremely accurately. I didn't even consider that. All of these snipers on the enemy side are about to get wiped all the way out. All those tier 3s they have, everything is gonna get blasted. It's, it's going to get, it's gonna get bad. Look at, look at it. It's, it's not a particularly swift death, but they now have to hard cover everything across their top in order to make this survivable. Because it's just going to keep sniping things from above. Is an armor piercing one? No, which is a good thing. Because armor piercing reduces the rate of fire, which means the fewer sniper shells going out and about. You don't want that. You want pure DPS. Or pure rat rated fire out of this. Because it just snipes everything. Speaking of which, I should probably add one myself. You know, I don't really have a good place for it. Have to like hang it down out here, which is just not gonna happen. Look at all the mortars flying. And tier three snipey, unironically very powerful. Is it just means they can't have exposed gunners anymore? And exposed gunners, or at least exposed across their tops. And exposed gunners are kind of the thing keeping them in this game, or keeping them from you know getting mortared out of the game. The moment they can't have those is the moment they can't have, you know, much of anything. Um, let me adjust this. See if I can slowly morph this without causing problems. Computer from 2012 is lagging. Uh oh. That's uh, not you know, ideal. the top one. Sounded like death by cannon, but this guy's got no anti-air left, so good luck. You're gonna need it. In fact, I don't even need to do anything but just zoom out yet. <clears throat> there we go. Three firebird fog launcher auto cannons win. I don't think fire... Well, I don't think the fog launcher is really necessary here. No desyncs as much. No desyncs whatsoever. No, not even an error. No damage. <laughs> Glad you had the four longs from the get go, dude. Yes. The wide base. Wide base can't hurt you. Wide base doesn't exist. All right, let's do this one. So tier 3 snipers, I think we're the winning move here. Tier 3 sniper, does it mean he always has the high ground? Yes, actually, which is what caused the victory. High ground advantage, real thing. Hmm. <clears throat> Oops, all mortars, yes. The 
let's do it. <clears throat> they were armadillo? Um, I believe so. Tier 3 incendiary sniper. Yeah, that's what it was. That's 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 what broke them. It was very strong. Like they only needed We only needed one of them to make it to break them, but we got two of them at some point. And it was very effective. Like very effective. I can't really rear turbine this. But I guess I can kind of technically do it. Feel like the vanilla base designs just don't apply here. <clears throat> hmm. I definitely needed to shift this over a little bit. That's a mistake my part for not doing that. Uh, it'll have to do, I suppose. To need to fix this at some point, so you're just gonna fix it now. Okay. Okay, this is the difference between victory and defeat at some point. Sell off our uh, base for wood, yeah. Is it good for auto aim? Uh, yes. Why did that stay open for so long? Yes, they are good. No, they don't. I find them not terribly effective. Let me rephrase. I don't find them optimal, but they are good. I think they do work. They do work quite well. God save us all. God can't save you now. Only borders. Just 
just going out of here? Stop it. this that's a scary sound here and someone's got them heavy weapons on the field What's happening here? We're getting ricochet rounds? I think we're getting ricochet rounds from the team. This is fine. Getting tier three sniper? Or what's that? What? No, we're just getting mortared. Okay. Once the mortars come online, if they come online, which is a big if at this point. Alright. There we go. Offensive firepower. Should be shutting down a lot of their mortars in the process. And it's breaking it up here. It's the core itself. That's the pixel we can use. Let's see, what else can I do here? It is time for more, I think. Do this, and then this, and then this, and then this. I think I don't. any more higher than that. Okay. If 
Hopefully that's a be a good enough start. Okay, we are committing mass catastrophe. Commandability active to assist the whole devastation. The snipers are coming. You love to see it. Let's see, what else can I do here? I could do, potentially, one of... I think if I... do this. I might be able to do this and then this. Oh, one falls. And as long as I get the timing right, like so, should have a functional tier 3 sniper here. Yeah, look at that. Look at it! Uh, this tier 3 sniper should assist in removal of things up here, but won't be substantially effective as much as it was last round. Last round, it was some serious. I'm sorry, did you just overpen the base with a sniper to take out? Okay. My question is, what is a tier 3 sniper shoot shooting at? Is it at this? What else is it shooting at? I don't see it hitting anything. Oh, yeah, it was shooting at this. Okay. Hey, <laughs> there it is. It's gone. Alright, so that's one removed. Alright, so now it's time for additional upgrades across the board. So here comes the snipers. You'll love to see it. Shoving poutine in her mouth. Understandable feel. Um, tier 3 snipers have been trying to shoot directly across. Which is, you know, an experience. Uh, but here comes death and disaster. You know... I really do love the ability to just hands off the keyboard and watch, watch devastation happen. <laughs> you see, that's why we don't use. That's why we don't see. Uh, that's why we don't see lasers used that much because the moment you the lasers open the doors to fire, they get sniped for an extended period of time. Laser blocking? No, he's not. It it's got incredible angleage. It just. It's got incredible angleage. It's just, there's nothing to snipe, so it's trying to aim directly at targets, I think. It's just not having it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as much as I hate, as much as I hate team killing. I think, I think I might have to let that one go. <laughs> oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh gosh. Oh my god. That was, that was absolutely gorgeous. Oh boy! All right, so where is my? I want I want this on squirrels. For the love of God! <laughs> Catch me, brother! Yes. I wonder if you could periscope a laser to protect the snipers. Um, the um, what is it called? The AI doesn't handle periscopes, like at all. Um, maybe if you were to do, if you were to have a perfect 45-45, you could probably get away with it. 
because it would just offset the laser. You can see the shield and says it doesn't fire one. Even if it's your own shield and directly in front, because I'm thinking you could do something. I'm thinking you might be able to do something like, I don't know, where's where's box? Box tool, there we go. You might be able to do something like, uh, oh God, I don't have a good box tool for this, do I? Let's say you've got, oh, I know what I could do here. Give me a second. And this is something I haven't tested, so I don't know. Um, and say we have a fort here, and if I were to build a shield, I don't know, grab, that's not good enough. If I were to grab a shield and put a shield here, where's, where's my laser? We put a laser right here, and we would have put a shield with 45 and 45. So we put a shield here. Did it not? Huh. We put a shield here and here, and then we take all of this and turn it to background bracing. Like, you know, so. What you're left with is a laser that tries to shoot at something and gets it shifted up one level. So your laser beam goes out like so. But instead of going directly out in front, it instead ends up just, uh, it instead ends up getting shifted directly forward. Yeah. And is the same exact angle, but is shifted up one level. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't actually know if that's, if that can happen, because I don't know if the AI works that way or not. It might just see and break down. Pretty sure if the ray cast hits a shield friendly or not, it just support fired. It very much. It. I suspect that's the case. Oh God. I made a mistake placing that here. Uh, to rectify this mistake, I'm going to put that there. Okay. Hmm. could do a u-shaped bend to get back to the same level yes but if you do that then something like firing a sniper would just go all the way clean through you want it to be offset otherwise it just snipes it's otherwise it just gets sniped
Let's change this out to here. Deactivate this, I suppose. Leave you exposed for the moment. Okay. Ta-da! Is beautiful. Alright. So now we've got this to contend with. Okay. That looks suspiciously like it's a, uh, like a death bridge, because if you don't have the money. I say, that looks suspiciously double door to release double door a bowl. I think I'll leave you a big door, actually. So you can kind of shoot everywhere and everything. There we go. Hmm. All right, so we're holding the front for now. Okay. God, the the snipers, brutal, devastating, in all the best ways. That is a heap load of a. Uh, just an absolute ton of mortars coming out of the opponents there. It's going to be a good excuse for me to start expanding out here. Looks like the snipers are starting to dig through wood, which I love to see that. They're running out of targets to gun down. But we've definitely won the whole map control thing. Which is, you know, nice. Ah, I sniped a little close to the wall. Hmm. My dude. You gotta put out your fire, man. Oh, I think they have firebird is going on here. Uh-oh. Hey, hey. Sniping mines. One one sniper shell at a time. Alright. I need battery. Good news is we've kind of dominated their uh, the front ends of them pretty you know substantially. Missile launch, nuke lands, great damage. That's bad. That is bad. Uh, they have. They aren't disconnected yet. Uh, triple missile. That's cleared. Good job. Mm. I do wonder if it'd be worth me swapping to other types of weapon here. I think what I do now is get this going. Oh, we got a desync. They don't come back in. It begins. So this is where things become a problem. Where once one desync happens, It starts to cascade, but we've got to rejoin. 
Alright, I can't tell if Magma is rejoined, but Serial, uh, Trill and Lich have rejoined successfully. Okay, yeah, Magma... Magma got super desynced. Okay, he's back in. Right, there's several flavors of desync. Magma got a couple of them. Alright. That sounded bad. That sounded very bad. Oh, but the mortars are flying. Hmm. I do wonder, because they're a little bit out of... I would have to sacrifice... I guess I could sacrifice you for one of these. It's not like it's doing a whole lot, because they don't have much. Oh, but the nuke... else could I do here? Triple nuke. It's bad. It's so much damage. <laughs> I think he sold that on purpose to try to fix some things. And the snipers just, they sense blood. And they come for blood. Unfortunately... Um, lacking our mortar player is now not much in the way stopping rampant damage output. But with this player having lost most of their nuke, uh, they don't, they've kind of also lost most of their ability to commit violence, so. It's about time we start Preparing to fire this, which means that guy's gonna get like one shot off before before it's time to howitzer. Okay, it's howitzer time. All right, howitzer. What kind of angle do you find? None. Question mark. Oh, that's... You stop firing. Um... Start firing again. All right, uh, I'll do it then. All right, good job. Go, snipers, go. Here, upgrade you again. Uh, what else can I do? I th think this thing doesn't know how to fire because it's um, the angles on it dictate that it doesn't have a direct line of sight or doesn't have uh, 
potential firing arc to something that it deems worth shooting. Whereas the most value, it really realistically the most value it can get, is just firing directly into the face of their front door. Which, you know, I'm, I can live with that. I've got snipers dominating their front everywhere, so I could just keep firing and be fine. Massive desync. Disable their connection permanently. No, no. Uh, they still have bottom base. Still has access to the bottom area. They just haven't rebuilt it yet. You can see they have the node still connected. Like they still have a structure there which they can control. Welcome back to Team One. <laughs> doesn't really like howitzers. Yeah, howitzers a little bit odd of a weapon in terms of angles and such, so I'm not terribly surprised to see that. All right, we're cutting deeper. Beautiful nuke. Honestly, like this one mortar and this mortar down here have been great work for dealing with the opponents there. Alright, triple nuke should just about clean up this guy here. Yep, and there it is. Let's drop that shot a little bit. As it looks like... So this map tends to domino, tends to spiral pretty quickly. Uh, snowball, but with um, auto fire weapons, I suspect it's it's just gonna be snowballing that much harder, like crazy hard. Hey, got him! takes the barrel. Uh, so they still have access to the top and bottom area, but um, obvious reasons that's going to be not their highest priority right now. <laughs> T3 sniper would ironically be insane on this map. Uh, that has been the case for every map so far. Bar none. The snipers sense blood. Uh, you no longer need to really exist. You can give standard sniper. Once the snipers detect blood, they shall fire, as they do. As they go straight to the mines. They're gonna get it. Yep. There's one. With the AP snipers coming in coming online too, they're probably gonna get another one too. On top of it. Like they like, oh it's only one strut of wood? Would be a shame if we just blew clean through it and take out the rest of the mines. Like these things these things are devastating. They're a walking war crime. Uh Yep, suddenly internal goods to detonate. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't see if the shield worked. No! Yeah, the, uh, snipers saw blood, and they just removed it. It's not a war crime the first time. You uh, you know, you raise an excellent point. Alright, so you know what that means. That's three rounds in this lobby. So we get to make a brand new lobby. So if you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity, because we're going to be restarting this lobby and creating a brand new one with seven extra slots, meaning it's first come, first serve. You guys can come and join if you want to. 
you need only press that join button. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that follow button. Make sure to hit that like button because we got more content like this coming out multiple times a week, every single week. And the best place to get in contact is to get notifications or otherwise uh, get involved or interact with the community is in the Discord. Link in the description below. This feels unfair. It It's fun to watch is what it is. Just seeing everything get blown up pieces by snipers small caliber weapons fire by the masses all right already uh, let's see let's do what else was there that we wanted It was something... There was another mod it wanted in with flying forts, with fort ships, and I don't remember what it was. It was... Ah, remove build, uh, disable build zones. Build. Disable, remove no build zones. Okay. Let's see, high seas, best seas, and 4v4. Yeah, let's do it. Beautiful. I want to see flying forts with AI weapons. Be even better if there was a builder mod. Because the effort to make a fort fly is far more than the... Um... I think it would kill our PCs. But, I mean, we can try it. I think it would be a bad idea. Because it doesn't play well with mods, like, at all. And you have modded weapons involved, which just... It's bad. No, there's... I think th there's modded weapons in flying forts. I think it's going to be a bad idea. Like, it'll just break things. <clears throat> How's Duck Mafia doing? Uh, they exist. Um, another batch of flufflings was wandering around the parking lot the other day. Um, got chased by a whole flock of ducks. I was like, why are you chasing me? And then they realized that they were late adolescent ducks. I just didn't recognize that they were still flufflings. So... Really, they still had the mentality of, of ducklings, and so they saw, you know, me, and they're like, <gasps> food-shaped objects, and they came running like ducklings do, but they looked, but they were physically full-sized ducks, which was interesting. <clears throat> do you ever regret saying something? No. All right. Do a few things. A little bit more eco here. And then I would like some of this here. Um, due to me being front, I'm going to play a little defensive here to give the teammates an opportunity to, uh, you know, defend and get their bases up and running. But realistically, 
Uh, I should probably go on the offensive, because I don't see any early game aggro out of the opponents here. So let me start by doing... This, this... Just so I have defensive options here. Well, hello there. If it isn't Oxygen Thief, coming in and rejoining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You've regained access to all the beautiful emotes here on the channel. Those well, special access real on Discord. Welcome back to the party. Uh, 41 months. It's quite some time. center. That's fine. Let's begin to commit damage output. After all this, the trauma of uh, having to deal with more snipers, or more mortars. Let's see, I'm looking for this thing here, thank you. I'm not seeing... Hello. <laughs> what I'm not seeing is, uh, what is it called? Other strike craft being created, which is a little surprising to me. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. Alright, uh, let's get you upgraded, you upgraded, you sold, you sold. Interesting. Didn't expect standard cannons to come from behind me. something. It's a cannon. Alright. Well. Okay. So that makes my life a little easier.
transitioning to uh, airborne capable eco so I don't have to worry about, you know, losing all of my economy when I inevitably lift off. Uh, I'm really just here to take hits. Because they've got all kinds of, uh, you know, nonsense around. And I would like it to be not a problem for the team. Um, let's get rid of this guy. And place this here. Place one of these here. Because this is happening, and I would prefer if it, you know, didn't. There we go. Alright, I need to lift up a little bit. A little bit more. And then pummel straight to the front. And then go back down. Down a little further. There it is. There we go. You're going slow. So it happens when you're fat. Those air balance, basically, yes. <laughs> you got me. Um, now might be a good time to completely change position. Slow crashing computer. Ah, that's a uh, a different kind of uh, problem. Huh? I survived. Uh, I should probably not be here anymore. Let me fix this so I don't have problems and then move. Can I put this back yet? Yes. Ow! From behind they hit! Hmm. Sir, look notably undefended from this angle in particular. Or would be if I, you know, didn't just miss entirely. Team tank working out so far. A little painful, but this is the way of the life. Alright, we're gonna have to adjust things a little bit here. 
You know, just a little bit. He's going all the way up here, which is going to be a problem. Um, let me have nice things. Uh, I see. Those are cannons. Could have been way worse. Oh, we're losing weight. We're losing height. This dude's just got a massive pillar of cannons, and we need to do something about it as soon as possible. bad. Uh, I've lost my control panel. Yep, they have way too much firepower on the field. No longer able to maintain tanking. That's it. Have something? No? Okay. Please go away. Let me do things! Okay, well... I tried. Yeah, we just don't have enough firepower on the team. Like, dude sitting up here with, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cannons. Plus another two, three, four, five cannons. So they're up here with... Double-digit cannons. Somewhere around four times the amount of weapons we have. That's not a tenable amount. Hmm. 
Ominous giant barge moving closer and closer. Yes. That's exactly what's happening. And no one's shooting at it! Hey, he shot at it. He missed, but he shot at it. You know, one door sniper moves this entire thing. Which is what I was trying to do, but... Didn't quite pan out. No, you gotta... You gotta lift off. Unless you can't fight it. I mean, he could, but you gotta have a nasty angle. Oh, hey, you got a hit. You did it. Uh, didn't quite... Didn't quite take him out. Wounded it, though. Oh, boy. Alright, let's see how much damage it does this time. It's about to do catastrophic amounts of destruction. Oh! Oh! Oh, it pens so deep! Oh, that almost took it out. I think it exposed the cannon? It's like if it... If it could just got a little deeper, the whole thing would come crumbling down. Which, to be fair, would probably, at this point, only delay the game. But still. Because they have multiple flavors of death rummaging this direction. This man is coming out here with a flamethrower. You mad lad. He's just pushing straight forward with a flamethrower. Or... That's... It's own hilarious brand of awesome. Look at... He's committing fire. <sighs> oh, almost got it. Close to burning it down, though. That's, you know, cool. Oh boy, it's moving. It's getting closer. Oh no. It's a hit, but... That's got a little much armor in that particular position. He's just slow pushing with the flamethrower is what's happening here. Which I think is hilarious. Oh hey! It penned. I didn't break anything. Oh, well, that's death. It's been fun. Yeah. Several flavors have overpenetrated. That second shot has consistently missed, which is unfortunate, but it does happen. Now, now we're going to get to see this barge of death. It's it's a short range flame casting boat. This thing just rolls up on you. It even has the anchor attached to it. Just to make sure it slows down in the water. Rolls up, paddles and all, and then just commits fire. Hmm. This is... I like this. I like everything that's happening here. Come on. 
All right, who's going to get him first? Betting this character gets him first, because that's just a silly amount of cannon. But, uh... We've got four different var varietals of pain. Uh, this one, actually, this one might get him first. This one's, this one's devastatingly deadly. Unless, hey, laser point defense takes him out. We'd love to see it. And down it goes. Takes out a cannon, which bullies it a little bit. It's not that much; just a little bit of damage. A little bit of deformation. Uh, but the flamethrower is here. Flamethrower, I think, will take a substantial amount of time to get through, but, um, will eventually get through. Just may take a... Yes, that is how Return to Senders work there, friend. Uh, the flamethrower is mere meters away from making it through. And another one down. You know, lasers are great for point defense. Another airship falls. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it looks like big boys getting the opportunity. Okay, yeah, this is death. Alright, well... Death from above. Oh, the return to sender almost, almost caused problems there. And this is... Actually, this is probably not death, but... <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. For a second, that was about to be the friendliest of fire. The laser straight from above, just wiping out this player from, be from behind. It would have been... Oh, my God. That would have been... That would have been a way to, get, a way to go. After taking all those hits, the thing that takes him out is his teammate from the sky. <laughs> Too much power world. Oh, God. I started uh, cow breeding again. This man's just hit himself again. I tried to, to like, uh, Nagia already gave me perfected cow, but I never fully upgraded it. Uh... I I need to mass cow to fully upgrade it, which is my current project. God, that was that was hilarious. All kinds of goodness happening there. Let's do it. <laughs> Gotta keep the milk flowing. Yes. Sweet liberty, my forts. Dude, I've been having so much fun with Helldivers. It is such a good game. It makes me very happy. Forts 1.5. I did build a giant fort. Here, you here. Um, I do like that Pound World is finally fixing and gotten around to fixing a lot of the uh, borked AI and such. Like the PALs, they still tend to um, get stuck all over the place and sick and forget how to eat food, but. They also d seem to fairly consistently produce, uh, seem to fairly consistently produce items now while offline, which is nice. It's about time.
Your pals almost never get stuck now. Yeah, mine keep getting stuck on uh, objects, like trees and such. Like, they're just in the tree and can't move, which is another problem. They also get stuck on my farms. Like, they'll be standing on the farm and can't figure out how to get off of the farm. Never actually been raided in that location. <laughs> Lucky you. Very lucky you. You know my uh, record of getting raided every time I log on without without hesitation or fail. It's just more. I don't even get good loot for it either. here, more of these here, need to go this way, and then I need and I need you here, like so. I would like you here. What is the oh I'd also like you here. Hmm. Deal with this. And that is why I built this here. Okay, uh, next I need you probably here. This will do. Okay. Uh, probably because I'm not aware of any updates that have happened. There, King. activate.
why. Oh. What am I looking for here? Let's get this going. I don't know what else to do right now. Uh, let's get one of... Let's keep going this way. Place you back where you quote-unquote belong. That man is a little close to the edge here. Hitting his... Ooh, nice. It's a player eliminated. That from above. Seems to be largely... Okay. I see a cannon over here. But what I don't see... He's going to self-destruct himself there to remove my little strike craft. Alright. Worth it. Oh, hello. I see what's going on here. here and then I need you here and then need one of you here he's probably gonna hit me here it's fine what is happening over here oh the front is getting bullied I see uh, I can help resolve this Partially. I cannot do so until this is gone, but I can make this go away rather quickly.
Uh, a teammate did it for me. Please don't hit me. Okay. That's a core eliminated, but it isn't removing the player entirely. All right, good shot. Let's see, I need to get something out here. Let's add another one of this here and here. Snipe out this. What else can I do? Some more buzzsaw action. How many shots does this take to go down? I mean, he can build another one, but if he's not paying attention... There's a good chance of that. Oh, he's definitely paying attention as you're pairing it. Okay. In that case, I need to do... More. Such as, but not limited to... Things like this. To be placed here for the moment. These things explode quite violently. Job. He's got another one over there. He's got a lot of these little, uh, little bases here. Got a lot of them. Like all over the place. No! Okay, that's gonna make my life more difficult. Uh, let's see. See what's going on. Sniper in the way. Okay. Alright then. Uh, where can I move this? Yeah, we just drift this over to the side real quick. Uh, and then get, I don't know, another heavy weapon going. I drop explosives. Uh, because, I mean, I could. That is an option. It is most certainly an option. Let's 
straight down mortars. Mortars cannot be fired directly down. That is one of their gimmicks. They they just don't work when fired. They, they physically refuse to fire directly down. Uh, I can get other mortar-like weapons and fire them downward, though. I should probably focus on removing the other base rather than this guy. It looks like I already have teammates handling that reasonably well with, you know, lots of firepower. Alright, uh, you need to slide down slightly. There it is. Okay. Alright, removed. And just that's left. Alright, sweet. This man's still sniping me out of spite. Oh, boy. <laughs> right down, up, right down, calling the laser. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Very effective, really. Uh, I'm gonna not be in the sky with all those howitzer shells dropping. Yeah, okay. I was like, maybe we don't get in the in the way of the artillery. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I gotta think about this one again, don't I? Okay. <sighs> Beautiful. Well done. Well, that got exciting. Let's see, what's another good one? We'll do this. Could have easily lost those cannons you were cycling. Uh, yeah, probably. Hmm. Voice just changed for a moment. Uh, there's been an audio bug going around Twitch. I know a number of my friends have been complaining about it. I mean, it's something that warps things. <clears throat> warps the audio. Warning, you're in range of friendly artillery. Yes! It's a, it's a problem. Aiming is hard. Low latency mode is warping the audio. Yeah, uh, probably related. Probably most definitely related. friendly artillery. Hey, fire is always the same amount of friendly. That is to say, it isn't. Do, do, do. 
Sometimes the stream gets too far to hunt. Does the YouTube video thing of playing it back faster? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Not on Twitch. Also, YouTube doesn't do that automatically. You have to do that yourself, but I'm betting you knew that. I'm just quibbling, I suppose. <laughs> Connected steel for the win. I probably could have done that. I didn't want to do that. I was more interested in just seeing it burn to the ground. As long as that was gone, all of their eco went with it, so. Wasn't that big of a concern. Um. I have an idea. I know what I wanted to do. Uh, no, I've already done something different, so never mind. Do I want to do this? I don't want to do this. Need to save our monies for more stuffs. Uh, so here's the thing about these bases. Because they're locked in to the floor, they either want to desperately not be on the floor at all costs, or they want to be heavy in the point defense. Because if something gets across the fields, they could just drop stuff on them. Which is, you know, hilariously effective. So you, you can't do you don't want to be on the floor when something gets above you. So you either don't let things get above you, that's the point of defense, or you don't be there. Both of which are great solutions to the problem. Someone lost their top. Oh yeah, yeah they did. You love to see it. All right. All right, I have no particular interest in. Um, swift building this time around, so we're gonna not do that. it out like so. Uh, I'm going to put one of you here, one of you here, one of you here, one of you here. Uh, I need to start, I spent a lot of money on those things when I needed to do this instead. As I'm here in movement. Not see in movement. Looks like this player is shaping up to move. Oh, he's doing one of these. Okay. Where did that come from? I'm in danger. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna undeform this. Because it's cheap for me to do that right now. Do, do, do. 
Ooh, almost got him. Moving his entire core out of there. You love to see it. Oh, didn't quite make it over the edge. Hey, got him. The shot I was looking to make. Alright, so I should just be able to pummel this from above. Got a solid hit, but nothing that's going to break him. this as more defenses. I needed to get another cannon under production. I also needed to get some uh, movement going here. That's much better hit. Is that an elimination? Yes, it is. Okay, let's float a little bit more. Get another one of these under production. Uh, I really should fatten up here a little bit. Just so I don't, you know, explode. Alright, so his core is over here, which is a pretty clever solution to the getting gunned down problem. Uh, if I were... I'm not quite ready or keen to engage him at this point in time. I've got to get more cannons operational. I'm going to refire here. That's getting some solid hits. I've got basic defenses here, but nothing exceptional. I'm going to be careful not to get blindsided. I think I'm actually going to target this guy here. He looks vulnerable. Looks like the direct fire weapons are handling it pretty well. New cannon ready to go. Replace it under construction queue. got nothing there. Nothing there either. I mean, I'm hitting him, but it's not actually hurting him. Because there doesn't appear to be anything there to hurt. I would like to make sure that's the case. Alright, 
what's going on here. And a little bit more even on the weights distribution. laser as we slowly mosey on over should have another cannon ready to go do 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 not to have another cannon ready to go as well oh you know that's one way to solve the problem that man looks like he's ready to blast me. Didn't quite land it. Floating laser beam. Cannon production facility online and going. Refire last position. Oh, the teammate finished it. Nice. I definitely need more energy production. Like, substantially more. So I'm going to spend another... We're going to spend a minute dealing with this, because I can't upkeep the cannons. Not at the moment. <laughs> Dreadnought tactics? Yes. Alright, let's get uh, sliding around here. How perfect is this? Uh, dangerous enough. Let's see. So this doesn't have anything to do... This is the next target. Wow, you just tanked that like a champ. Okay. Alright, I need to get ready to construct additional cannons here. Oh, well, that's, that's bad for him. That looks lethal? Yeah, okay. Down and move on. Um, I think we blast this guy away next. Portal guys. This guy doesn't have my um, you know, he's vulnerable. We'll we'll he's not, you know, super vulnerable because his base isn't present. There's like he's got no core there. So I can't really hurt him too much. But we can remove his uh construction facility. While I, you know, get anti-portal tech going. Is that it? Oh, he's still got this facility. He still has the uh, the node there. If Laser laser Boy can take care of that, I'll take care of it. Oh, but the laser shots are clean. Oh, ho, ho. All right, well, you'll love to see that. Almost got it. So that was a lot of damage, by the way. Did he talk too much? Is that possible? Nah, there is a... That's actually something I hear fairly often from, uh, from chatters. Wondering why not a lot of people respond. But... 
the demographic, this demographic here is, uh, that we find in this community is not particularly chatty. Like, I've seen instances of being like a thousand people and, like, uh, ten people in chat? Maybe thirty? At most? It's just, uh... This particular demographic isn't exceptionally chatty. Which is fine. Lord knows half the time it's, uh... Just keeping keeping the TV on for the kids is to make no... Just to have white noise going. Some like to talk, yes. Some absolutely like to talk. I actually like this strategy out of this player. Um, it's not going to save them, but it has kept them alive and kept them in the fight for an extended period of time. Like golf, but with guns. <laughs> the way you describe that. Alright. Um. Oh, the laser beams. Alright, uh, let's do this, this. Oh, <laughs> uh, with the EMP, a stagger fired, like, spread shot them to give a better opportunity to hit. I didn't expect to snipe the core with that. Oh my god. Have I mentioned that Fort Ships is a great game? Oh, jeez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the third round in this lobby that you know what that means. It's time to get a brand new lobby. So if you guys want to come and join now is the perfect opportunity because we've got a fully open lobby with zero slots claimed. So first come, first serve, hop in here and get that fort's goodness going. Remember guys to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that follow button. And the best place to get involved to actually get notifications, uh, consistently notifications and to um, hang out with me and the rest of the community is going to be in the discord link in the description below relaxing words sounds liberate planets too i like the way this man thinks a true super citizen Alrighty then, so 4v4, not high seas, and Ice Ball XL, no. You know. This is a weird one. But I like it. Ah, yes, thank you, King Drew. What does AI controlled weapons do? Oh, honey, you're gonna find out real quick. It's, uh... A traumatic experience for those who haven't ex who haven't been on the receiving end, and I love it. Do, 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 do. All right, so I remember this map. The first thing you do, aside from getting another mine and turbine, uh, no, even before turbine, is go over here. And connect this up. Like so. Because you can put turbines over here so that they don't get sniped. Alright. It's the Ford's Chaos mod. No! My sniper! It got sniped. Man's getting his mines murdered already. Uh, so AI control weapons is simple. Um, the AI controls your weapons. That's all there is to it. Isn't more complicated than that. Um, there are consequences to this, as one might expect, such as you know the AI controlling your weapons and having infinity APM, which is it's which is some substantial level of deadly, destructive, devastating. 
I don't want to sell off any of my things here for reasons. Looks like team has lost the sniper duel. And the opponents don't seem to have much in the way of exposed goodies, but uh, they certainly haven't uh, haven't been pressured. I approve of the ho ho ho, they sense blood. What happened? I think he had a battery up there. I'm seeing mortars, and that bothers me. Alright, let me do this. Uh, I'm gonna try doing the same setup here, like so. See if this, as I can shoot, I can technically shoot straight across, but it's more of a shoot up, shoot down kind of situation. this going so I can get the next set of goodies and we're up at full mines um, sounds like we're getting good hits on a core I like the placement of the mortars set here. Commander ability active. That means lots of destruction. Uh, so that's a player eliminated. Rapid fire snipers coming in play their part. More importantly, rapid fire mortars. Uh, speaking of which, let's add our... That's not what I wanted. Notice that I make one mistake, open that up for any, any amount of seconds and suddenly it's just death. Like it is, that is what we're dealing with here. Because it is infinite APM hostility. Which is, you know, the best kind of hostility. I also like how snipers are just the anti-air now. Like, that's just, that's just what's happening. Okay, let's upgrade you, see if it'll be enough. That looks suspiciously like an AP sniper. Is that because it's an AP sniper? Yes, yes it is. All right, well. You're no longer needed. Uh, 
you should be safe once again. Okay. And something tells you the terrain is in practical a little bit. Uh, but that's part of the joy of it, yeah? Alright, hey, we got the counter snipe, and the mortars are still doing mortar things, which you love to see. I guess I can put this guy back now. That means this is effectively unusable, not without causing additional problems. Which I'm okay with, because I mean, they don't have to worry about... They don't have to worry about it, uh... Being a vulnerability in the base. Why am I upgrading turbines when I can build more? Import sniper's frame. Hey there, just a really random nerd. Welcome in. If anyone wants to kind of force stream live, well, you know, on the YouTube channel, we have all of the streams permanently archived forever. So you can uh, enjoy them and all their madness at any point in time you desire. Speaking of which, we've got a new video coming out later tonight. Uh, at the end of this stream, actually. And, uh,. Oh, here's something I think you guys will enjoy. Uh, my brother is looking to, to learn how to do video editing and such. Just look at the mortars! Oh my god! This makes me so happy! I'm so happy about this! Um, as I was saying, uh, my brother is doing learning video editing and such. So what I'm having him do is uh, do shorts, because he likes doing shorts. So we're going to get to see some shorts content. Uh, won't be my humor, but it'll be me. I think that'll be exciting. Mix in, mix in some of that goodness. All right, it sounds awesome. It does sound awesome. I appreciate this man. I appreciate this man so much right now. Who is this? Who's doing this? Who, which one of you is going to take credit for this? This appendage of mortar. Because it's beautiful. And I like how they're just snaking through terrain to land these shots. Alright then. Uh, what I need is another one of you, as well as... Let's start upgrading this. You want the motors in the back? Good. I appreciate you, and I appreciate your existence. I'm gonna upgrade the cannons. As well, the motors are doing work. Um, I would like to... I don't think we're gonna be in this round long enough to get cannons out, is what I think. Alright, what else I think is I need to do this. And then this, and then this. So this should bait that sniper, probably. Maybe if I do this instead. Or the sniper's dead because we have a ton of snipers looking in that direction and I don't see the base. Where the base was, where that sniper was, just kind of, it's just not there anymore. The whole base is just not present. But the mortars from below, this is real MVP here. I wish I could dangle like that. This is worse than AI Tournament 3. Uh, it kind of is, actually. Is uh, at least the AI Tournament... You could softlock the mortars. Here, you can't do that. Because the human player is managing it. Which, you get all the madness of the AI competition, but none of the drawbacks of not being able to, you know, manage things. And at the end there, we had all of those motors exposed. That was just the team. That was just how much map control we had. There is so much. AI building, human firing. Oh no. The AI was predictable. Humanity is not. Yes. A T3 sniper would have done wonders. So, that map had an overhang, which made it not great. But, um, the topmost mortar dude would have been vulnerable. Very vulnerable. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, that's happening. He's trying to sell his turbine. Rip snipey. You did your job. Worth it now, so I don't have to think about it later. then uh so next up we do a tech and i think given my position we do this tech over the meta is just building a sniper as fast as possible <laughs> and then put it and then get a door sniper as fast as possible yeah all right so i'll put this down so we start construction there and then uh I have plans. The plans look an awful lot like Sniper. Don't die already. Alright, sniper doing good work. may be restricting it a little too much in the firing angle with these. Activate you. Activate you. So for this one, we'll do a larger door, give it some more angle to play with. This guy should be able to cover everything here. And then you upgrade you and so you can cover everything else. And angle you specifically up. All right, and then I think I'm going to add Aside from tech, another sniper here, a row of turbine, which I should absolutely have not placed this first. Uh, snipers are losing all of their duels here. That looks suspiciously like an AP sniper. getting sniped from above. Um, I need a sniper that can ang that with an angle that goes up. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
Like so. That firebird? Blasted something fierce here. I need you here. All right. Uh, you upgrading? You seem to be doing a much better job of handling the mortars now. So many mortar. Interesting. This sniper is shooting at targets directly in front of him and getting sniped. Ah, uh, I forgot to build the battery first. It's bad. How much do I lose? Not much. Okay, so I need to adjust this angle. To have something like this. Right, this should only be able to aim at the upper base now. Snipers are just the premium answer here. T3 sniper shooting you? Alright. I can't do much about that. At least I can't. Uh, someone else in that team probably can. Oh, it's an armor piercing sniper. So many doors. So many mortars. And they're not making it across. I just love, like, look at all these mortars. This is a disgusting amount of mortars, and they're not making it across, which is, you know, the best part. You room for rockets? I mean, I could build rockets. That is certainly an option. Still feels weird not covering everything in background bracing, but it just doesn't matter in this context.
Well, for the record, this is why I built it in this odd pattern here. So when it got sniped, it didn't uh, take everything with it. I'm just disappointed that it got sniped so quickly. Those are almost all AP snipers, I think. There's a lot of AP sniper armor piercing. It's the snipers from on high that are causing problems for me. Alright. All those mortars coming across and the snipers are just dusting them out of the sky. Which I think is awesome. Alright. We should be clear-ish to go. See how well you handle life. And it's open for way too long. Like, way too long. Well, hello there. But isn't this guy does stuff? Coming in and rejoining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You've regained access to all the beautiful emotes here in the channel, as well as the special access rule on Discord. Welcome back to the party. Four and a half years of DACA. It's a lot of snipey doing snipey things. It is! And we have even more! Look at it all. It's beautiful! Um... This gives me an opportunity to, uh... You construct all of this, yeah? Undeform it. Um, they have way too much control here. What do I do about this? Cannons are not working. Um, I could do it if I didn't let them auto fire, I think. But the auto firing is a problem. You're gonna have to get deformed. Problem then is I have to have it permanently run on. Uh, permanently run on this disabled AI, which is. Well, which is not ideal. at least. I think what I'd do here is use an energy shield to stop it from uh, trying to fire at things. That way it doesn't auto-fire. 
I can disable it and then go. Looks like they're getting some good hits on target. Top base is doing great work with the snipers here. You crashed. I'll give you a second. We'll give you a minute to come back in. As your weapons like the AI I won't try to fire it. Yeah, yeah. It um I know, but if I leave but if I unselect the weapon for any reason, like to go do something else, the AI is liable to try to fire it, which thus far has had a zero percent success rate. I mean, it does successfully fire it, it just dies in the process. It gets instantly door sniped. So I have to do open door, fire, close door. <clears throat> I could have sworn I disabled portals. Why do I see portals involved here? Did I not disable them again? That's bad. Is your cannon early on? Yeah, I've lost three cannons that way now. <clears throat> you need to have your team set up motors or something so they have uh, something else to shoot at. Ah. Portals are listed as required for the map. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Top turbines blocked by a piece of wood. Are they blocked by a piece of wood? All right. Looks like he's back in. Not back in. Are oh, we still loading? Okay. What did they say? Jammy didn't have the map. I don't know, but um, probably related to the crash. Ah, <sighs> I'm okay with this, and. Go. And there it is. Alright, sweet. Welcome back. And he's immediately desynced. Uh oh. I think whatever happened with the crash uh, and the redownload sent him into probably a permanent desync situation. Uh, we lost top which is really 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 bad and i'm not sure what took him out actually because i still see this here i'm not sure what happened there actually That thing's looking for a target. Just realized both down. I'll have to check the replay for that. Solid hits. We're gonna enable you. Oh, yet. There you go. Thank you for pointing that out, chat. I appreciate it.
So how's it going, chat? Hey there, how's it going, chat? Welcome back. Hope you guys have had a great stream so far. I know I have. Uh, in an effort to keep that stream going, uh, because I'm suffering some extraordinary internet connectivity issues, uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and set a new video to release. And we're going to be winding down this stream here. It has been a great little, been a great time, a little bit short. Um, we're going to be jumping on over to we we'll be jumping on over to a new video. So hope you guys enjoy and look forward to seeing you guys next time. who didn't hear. I'm suffering some substantial internet connectivity issues. So we're going to be winding down the stream here. We sent you guys over off to another video. Well, don't worry. We've got more forts coming out literally right now. A new video releasing at this very moment. So, we'll check it out.